So where you considered yourself a chat GPT expert, right? Maybe you fancy yourself a prompt engineer, right? Because you know how to write nice prompts and, you know, you're at the point where you feel like you can ask questions in a very precise way to get very clear answers. And from time to time, maybe you play with Claude 3, maybe you look at Gemini's response, or if you really dip it, or if you really deep in the weeds, you look at something like perplexity.ai. But I'm here to tell you that you're wrong about that. You know, AI is moving so fast nowadays, so many different technologies, so many new ways to do things more effectively, just like you think you have this great life hack for, you know, whatever writing is, is what it is you're doing with AI. Um, somebody else comes along and makes you feel like you've been doing it the tedious long way all along. So what we're here to talk about today really quickly is this um, this repo called Crew AI, right? So Crew AI is a repository system that was built to basically make ChatGPT or whatever large language model that you're using talk to, you know, itself. I'm sure you've been in a situation where you're asking ChatGPT, um, you want a response for something, um, maybe you want something explained a certain way, maybe you want something defined a certain way, and you just can't get it right. So you, you're just having this constant ongoing one and -on one with ChatGPT um, to give you a better version of the answer to explain it a different way, this and that. Very, very fun, but also very time consuming if you're not getting exactly what you want. And like I said, that's probably made you a better prompt engineer, but it doesn't really save you time, right? So that's where this comes in, right? So Crew AI, we're not going to build anything with it. We're not. We're just going to kind of jump around because I had heard about this thanks to Maya came on YouTube. Uh, again, thank you for posting that video. A lot of information, very concise. I'm going to put the link below if you want to check her video out. But one of the things I really loved about it is just how, just looking through their page, it's so well organized, it's so neat. Even if we go to the actual repo page, so on their GitHub, they have a lot of, I mean, this is just like beautiful documentation to me. They have a very nice, very concise table of contents. They right away started with the getting started, very clear directions. The main thing you're going to need is an API key. So I'm assuming you're paying for a subscription at this point. And they even walk you through some examples. They put some nice graphics here on how it works. So you don't even really have to know anything about, I guess, the technicalities of machine learning. But here in this chart, you can very clearly see that these are just multiple instances kind of just processing information in a loop, right? So you have your agents and that's kind of what you're, you know, you're basically, instead of you having multiple chats in ChatGPT where maybe one, you want to be an expert in biology, the other one, you want to be an expert in working out and the other one, you want to be an expert in, um, you know, let's say supplements and maybe you're just trying to get a really clear when you're trying to make a workout plan that's perfect based on, you know, physical science and then biology and supplemental science. And I'm talking about these working out analogies because I've been watching a lot of Mike Menser videos. But anyway, you might be running around copy pasting responses from one to the other just to get that response based on that different context you're giving it. Well, with this, you don't have to do any of that. You're just going to set this up once and Basically, from when, whenever you run your queries, it's going to let you do that. Now, you are going to do it on your terminal, I'm assuming. It's not like you'll be able to do this on, you know, chatgpt.com or up openai.com. But and right away, you get taken to this nice tutorial. And look at that. You even have some code examples here. So overall, I mean, I haven't installed with, I haven't even installed this. I haven't started playing with it, but I'm pretty excited. This looks clear to me. This looks concise. This looks straight to the point. So I'm super excited to read through this. And again, this website, I mean, it's simple, it's beautiful. You go here to your documentation. They have it set up so nicely. You have it. your core concepts, your how-to guides, your examples. Again, everything about this, I would say, is welcoming. And at first, when I started looking through this, I did feel kind of bad for not knowing about this before. But if you look at their you know, commit history, um, they really start working in this since this previous November. So it's been out about five months at five months at this point. That's kind of like forever in you know AI technology time, but still when I saw that video from Maya Kim, I think that was posted about two months ago. So I felt like I'd been out of the loop. Maybe it came out 
you know, almost a year ago, I guess, basically. But still, I think it's definitely a tool that can still be implemented if you haven't started messing with it. And I think it's worth looking into if you're spending the money to pay for, you know, ChatGPT premium or whatever the subscription is. If you're already spending a significant amount of time typing into it and I'm sure sometimes you lose the prompts or you didn't bookmark them, this and that. This is going to be something you want to look into just to get um, just to get some more efficiency out of that LLM model you're already paying for. And also, you know, you're just going to save some time in the long run. So that's going to be it for today. I just kind of want to go on a, I guess you could call it a positive rant on how beautiful this website is, how beautiful the crew AI repo documentation is. And I'm pretty excited to work on this in the future. Let me know if this is something you already knew about, how you've implemented it. And, you know, if you have any ideas of what we could do with this just for, you know, for fun, uh, leave it in the comments. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.